Welcome to Ethan being Ethan. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Forget. shows with different spins on that and my friends talking about some of their thoughts about those topics throughout 2018. So it's no coincidence that the first show of Dana B and Dana is the love show for 2018. I believe in spreading love. I think spreading love is very important. I think in the society that we live in now, it's, it's most important to spread love to strangers, people you don't know. And I think it's important to spread love to family, friends, and I think one of the greatest feelings there's nothing like falling in love and being in love. And so I wanted to bring some of my favorite love couples on uh, to start the show uh, with, in 2018. I, I believe that love sees no color. And to me, love is just people loving people. And so I wanted to introduce my, my panel. I've got four really good friends of mine who all happen to be married, and we're gonna talk about their love stories and, and get into some love advice. Um, so I'll start with you, Fabian. Oh, I'm David Aquino. Is that, is that what you want? Yeah, that's what I want. Yes, I do. I'm Fabian Aquino. Oh, thanks. I'm Maggie Aquino. Um, Nan Adams. Um, this is my and husband. And I'm Mark Adams. Awesome, okay. Well, I'm gonna start with you, Fabian, and Maggie. Uh, how long have you two been married? Just, it was a year in August. A year in August. I know, so a really long time. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> well, I want to talk about your story, yeah. because you two, I've known you um, for a while. Okay. I, I met Fabian, uh, he was a trainer at Orange Theory, mm -hmm. and it was years ago, I think I started in 2013, mm -hmm. At the Orange Theory in Naperville, and so did I. Woo! Yes, oh, and I was going with Dan one. and Alexis. Yes, Shout out to Alexis. Five a.m. Five a.m.ers. Yes. But I was in a very. It was funny because I was going through my divorce process at the time, or my marriage just sucked somewhere in between. But I was, I was, I was in a rough patch when it came to love, and you know, Phoebe and I had talked about that, and I had shared with him, you know, that I was going through a divorce. It was a rough time, and all those kinds of things, and so. You were really there for me when I was going through through my struggle, and um, it's been so nice. I think you had recently gotten out of a relationship. Sorry for her. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Story. Yeah. That's that's the second hour. Okay. But, um, Sounds good. To be but I, 
I just always thought Baby was such a great guy. He was not not only does he energize people, I mean, yeah. he is a coach for a reason and a trainer for a reason. Yeah. And because he's such a great motivator and such a good guy. So it was no surprise that when he met Maggie, um, the two of them just kind of really hit it off. Mm -hmm. And we actually went out, I went out with you guys. I got to bear witness to this uh, love affair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the first to call me Mrs. Aquino. That's exactly Aww. right. And I was, it was only like a month after we started dating. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but I saw Sparks. A lot of us that worked, that worked out at Orange Street knew that something was wrong. Yeah. 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 I saw this you turning on too. You guys were cute together. Yeah. You just, you, you're, you know, whatever you had together it was contagious. You know, you, you kind of felt like, oh, they're in love. They're yeah. happy. They're yeah. always making yeah. others happy. It was you know? great energy. Yeah. Well, that's Very a good, good point because you can always see when someone is in love. Mm. That's true. You, you can, can tell. Always see you it. can really tell when people are a great couple, when they're meant to be, when it's when it's supposed to be, when it's right. And so I sat there at the Usher concert at the United yeah. Center. Yeah. yeah. We got down. We got down. So we got down. down. But it was, it was <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think, I think it's nice to have a duck. We saw you two at the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So we yeah. so yeah. 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 Is that Ripley, right? Yes. Yeah. That's so funny. The first year Baby and I dated, we did everything. And then and then we were broke. <laughs> so Dan and Mark, how long have you two been married? Oh. Long time. <laughs> Eleven and a half years. Very long. I, I drink every day. <laughs> because of that. No, I'm just kidding. No, eleven. So we met in old two. No. Oh, oh, one. Oh, one. And uh, started dating in 02, mm -hmm. got married in 06. Nice. Engaged in 04, married in 06. And, wow. and so, like, yeah. Yes. Got we're we're story way of, older than this. On how we, how we met originally. <laughs> yeah, it was actually yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, a phone interview that I, I did. I was, I was looking for a job. Looking for a new job. Um, and, um, and I was coming out of a company restructuring and um, just wanting to get into public accounting. So I, my resume got circulated and I got this call from this Mark Anderson. She's, I wrote down, wrote down my wrong Mark name. Anderson. We <laughs> talked for 45 so minutes. Said I kept on the phone for way too long. He was yeah. a recruiter? He was one of the guys that kind of like was doing the screening for the accounting firm. And no, he screened you all. He, he totally screened <laughs> you. He like, hey, was a phone interview. So yeah, it was, uh, you know. So he, they brought me in and, you know, I interviewed, but he wasn't there. And then the first day I started, I'm like, where's that Mark Anderson? You know, like, uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Nan will now be That's referred sweet. to as Nan Anderson. Nan <laughs> Anderson. And I very clearly said, uh, no pass on this one. And, Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. It is crazy. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's awesome. So, Fabian, how did you know or when did you know that Maggie was the one? Oh, my God. You know what's so funny is that I was trying to hook her. Well, I don't like to say hook up, but I was trying to connect her with somebody else. And so, after a concert, of course, in which in which we got it's a long story. It's but in which we got separated because my phone died and it said you guys going without me. I'll find a way to get home. And so the very next day we got in contact, and I checked in with her. Long story short, yeah. I mean, I knew just right after that, and I wasn't even <laughs> the intentions weren't even there for me to even want to connect with Maggie. I just that thought she was dope. I just wanted to hang out. Yeah, because yeah. it wasn't like. We went, right. we didn't go to the yeah. concert thinking, oh, we're going there because he asked me on a date. No. We went there as friends to have fun. I was so much knew who I was. I was in, Miss Independent, had a good job. Still have a good job, like I'm not fired. <laughs> <laughs> She's totally a good job. <laughs> I'm looking for a job if you're hiring. <laughs> And he was too. He was like Mr. Independent and the boss of his game. And so then when we connected, it was just perfect. So it was probably a year after we met that we actually hung out. And that's what drew me to her was that I wanted, wanted to get my heart, so I won't say it. But, <laughs> but 
I knew that she could hold her own. And I would say that Neo song, Miss Independence, oh, yeah. like yeah. she can she can do what she needs to do without me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's just an added bonus, you know. But you guys uh, want to be together. Oh hell, oh, right. yeah. you don't need to. Be <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Then when did you know that Mark was the one, Mark Anderson? Uh, yeah. So we we started working together, and uh, he trained me on a lot of the daily tasks. That I we see. Were doing. Wow. And I noticed he had really good hands. And yes. I'm like, oh. no, and you're an accountant. <laughs> We are accountants. Is your name at work Cinnamon? <laughs> we actually, so, can I say where I used to work? So, the accounting firm is referred as Crow Orwa. Mm -hmm. So, Crow was like how we called the firm. And, I mean, you got a bunch of 20 year olds working really hard, long hours, and, you know, there's connections being mm -hmm. made. So, we call those Crow Man. So, we oh, were Crow yeah. Man. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Some um, of them off as well. Yeah, so we kind of, again, like kind of echoing what they're saying. You're friends, you're at ease, you're not trying to fall in love, mm -hmm. you're just having a good time, working together, partying together, doing things we mm -hmm. enjoy doing, mm -hmm. and but we intentionally don't. like doing, sign up for the same run, mm -hmm. let's go for a bike ride. and yeah, We actually know. were both um, in five year plus relationships prior meeting each other so kind of still in those relationships as we when we met when we met sorry we met. for those people <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. yeah um i think it's just through we kind of commuted together carpooled a couple times and just on those car rides um just talking and right i just totally realized that we have even though we're obviously from different backgrounds and we had the same value that we treasure same type of you know, things, um, what's good for life, what do we want in life, we kind of have similar views, mm -hmm. um, like bigger pictures, which I think that's kind of how I knew, okay, I can work with this guy, you know, like, um, and, and what really drew me to him is that he has a really good heart where he's not just trying to impress me, he's kind to other mm -hmm. people. He's really, you know, he just got a soft That's heart, true. and um, I know if he's kind to others, if if I get him, he's gonna be kind yeah. to me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, pro me. I'm Pro-me. calculating. <laughs> just kidding. So, yeah, <laughs> statistically speaking, <laughs> you mentioned you mentioned it's all being, about me. You mentioned being of different backgrounds, and you're Chinese. Yes. Right, and Mark. Yes. <laughs> you are not Chinese. I'm not Chinese. No. What's your background? Uh, Scotch, Irish, German, for the most part, but kind of just a month. And Maggie, I'm, are you ready? Yeah, bring it on. I don't know. I'm English, on. Irish, French, Bohemian, Dutch, Scottish, German. And I'm pregnant, so our kid will be oh English, Irish, French, Bohemian, Dutch, Scottish, German, Salvadorian, and Puerto Rican. Put that up. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you dated outside of your race before getting married? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, were your friends and family supportive of an interracial marriage? I, I didn't even I think about it. Yeah. yeah I know. It wasn't a, really it wasn't a, a question. question. Never, a question. Um, Never a question. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I, I'm a minority here. Um, and I never, like, the first time I went to his, like, family function was a reunion. It's like... What are people what it felt like? And it was like a huge, I mean, Irish, German, they have a lot of kids, you know, so their cousins, aunts, and uncles, everybody was there. And I just, I was the only Chinese girl, like, there, and we were just kind of dating, and, you know, but I felt warmth. I felt mm -hmm. it, it was never a question. I mean, they didn't see me as different. Um, at least I didn't feel that way. Mm -hmm. And from my family's perspective, you know, we, we came to the States, and it's, it's my mom's words, it's, it's you know, crapshoot. <laughs> like, well, what are you going to, whatever you do, we'll, we'll try to be supportive. And I mean, definitely she has opinions on different background. I dated a Japanese guy, and that was a no-no for her, because mm -hmm. some other issues with, you know, different countries, even though we're in the same race, if you will. But um, it just all kind of, I, I, 
in the end, I think what my dad had said was, you know, it's who you are with, not what makes, you know, like, it, it, it's, it's a person. It's, it's not, you're not trying to, you know, categorize people right. or, you know, mm -hmm. so, right. anyway. That's her her family has, has welcomed me recently, quite a bit of time in China, and, um, you know, it, it couldn't be, you know, the nicest family. I was a, a translator over there when I, you know, anything I need when I'm over there, you know, even they spend a lot of time here, and they, you know, I feel like I get along better better with them than Amanda sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think my parents and, and my entire family likes them better than they do. And vice, me. And vice versa. So and you guys have children. You guys have children, correct? Yes. yes. Two kids. Two kids. Who are friends with my kids. Yep. <laughs> and Maggie, you shared some news. Yes. You're expecting? I'm expecting. That's very exciting. So you guys are in such a important part of your of your marriage, becoming parents. Mm -hmm. Nan, Mark, do you guys have any advice for Maggie and Fabian as they're approaching this stage in life? We were just talking a little bit. Um, I went through a kind of a blues, you know, hitting me right after the first baby. Mm -hmm. And you're emotional. Your life's completely changed. We dropped that little carrier car seat in the living room. We're like. Now crap. Now <laughs> That's okay to say. It's okay. Um, what are we going to do? And I just was eating dinner one day, just started crying. Like, so there's a lot of emotional mm -hmm. emotions and things. You're physically different. And I say kids are at different stages. They'll so take one stage at a time. Mm -hmm. Go through phases. Don't lose your, you know, your big vision. The day to day stuff, you just kind of have to figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, Take you all your expectations and throw them out the window. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's the I, day you get home. I grew up, you know, always had an expectation. If it doesn't meet, I'm the only child. You know, I, I felt like I always had my way of, you know, if I work hard enough, I, I'd be able to get it. You mm -hmm. know, with the kid, yeah, you, you always have to work hard at it, but they're just not going to do what you right. want to do, you know? Right. Um, it, it, it's a physical and mental battle. Mm -hmm. um, but it's such a joy. You, I want to go back to those days. And now you look at them, we're like, oh, what happened to you babies? You're so you know? old. Yes. Sure you back to yeah. <laughs> so many people. You can, you can babysit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will babysit. I, I, you know, I, I, I'm so enjoying our current stage because they're very self-sufficient. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I always say every day it's a struggle. You know, oh, my gosh, this, there's always something. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you finally worked towards... You pass that like one hurdle, the next mm -hmm. comes along. So days gets really long, but the years are short. Right. That's true. Like, right. You know, That's very just, true. I say that all the time. Yeah. yeah. There's so many people out there. Now that the holidays are over, people are breaking up, looking for love, wanting to get married. Cuffing season's almost over. Um, what what advice do all of you have for for people out there looking for love, looking to get married, looking to find the one, looking to be where you are at? Stop looking. <laughs> Let yeah. it happen, yep. man. Uh -huh. Just let it happen. Let it because then it's not natural. Mm -hmm. This is natural. Mm -hmm. That's natural. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that's meant to be. Yeah. So go to music concerts. Yeah. <laughs> look or people up. Say, say, say yes. your spouse up to be with other people. Look, yeah. look at the person next to you at work. Go to work. Yeah. Look at hands. Uh, and it should be yes. easy if you're dating someone and it's hard. Imagine yeah. being with them for eleven years. No, I was gonna say fall in love is easy. Stay in love. Stay in love yeah. and marriage in is love. hard. So I mean, we have bad days and good days, and th this is a constant work in progress. What Facebook says. <laughs> you have, you have bad I do complain. You have ups and downs. Uh, I'm going back to my vision. If you both have the same. You know, big goals and mm -hmm. your views are the same. Your what you want out of the, this life is the same. Then everything else, you can't sweat too much about it. You just, you know, you. Can I just jump? When yeah. she says that, the reason why I love Maggie with everything that I have is because she is more of a cheerleader for what I want to do with my life than I am for myself, and it's vice versa. I want more for her than she can probably even think of for herself. And so, if I make a decision, if I were to say I'm going to drop, I've done it twice. Yeah. I've done it twice where I've said, I'm dropping what I'm doing. And I'm going to go do what I'm, I believe my purpose is in this life is to do, and to help people. Yeah. She's like, so, okay, what's next? We'll figure so, it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. 
big support, biggest yeah. fan, biggest cheerleader. They, yeah, they. You have well, faith in the other person, mm -hmm. and um, I think you know you just gotta trust it and go with it. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it, it shouldn't be. Um, it if you're looking for love, it shouldn't be work. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that kind of just came naturally. We didn't yeah. have to. Like the first Work year, the, the first, first year of love yeah. should be like just love. Yeah, you just enjoy it. It shouldn't be like, oh God, is he going to text me back? I'm but, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> right? Then it kind of dies. Right. <laughs> We're going to put your love skills to the test. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We're going to play a little love game. Uh oh. You guys okay. have your game pieces? Yes. Right. Is this so, a game show? Okay. Yes. So right now, we're going to switch over to the game, the game oh, okay. part of our, our okay. pieces. <laughs> so these are the Aquinos, right? You guys are going to count. For the Aquino, Shay, no, no, Bobby and Nikita, you guys can count for the Aquinos. Team Aquino. And the Adams? Andersons. Yeah. <laughs> the Andersons. <laughs> the Andersons. Yeah. You two are going to count for them, all right? Yeah. So, you, you guys, guys have your game pieces? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> and the cameras are rolling. We're watching you. So, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? And you have to lift up the response that's appropriate for your marriage. For your These partnership. Are super cute, by the way. Thank you very much, courtesy of Dana being Dana. Cool. Uh, whichever couple gets the most right wins the game. Oh my gosh. Is there there's there's a lot of years. There's, there's a lot of years. Yeah, I kept asking. Are you not so competitive? Are you not 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 Ready? And you can't sit. You got to right away. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Or burpees. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Is it specific to couples, or are you just jumping out questions and asking? Everybody answers. Everybody answers. answers. Yeah, oh, everybody answers at the same okay. time. All right, Jeopardy. Jeopardy, yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. All right. Who's older? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I got my clothes off. I, I thought this was. Tina's one. I got my clothes off. Sorry. I got my clothes off. Two. I win. I'm sorry. Okay, y'all yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, All right. Yeah. When you first met, who made the first move? Oh, did I? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can count me. I mean, can you? Can you, know? you did. Did I? Yeah. You did. Who sure. is the better yeah, driver? Right. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not even no, no, nobody. This is not even for the sake of winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. No. Who is smarter? Jeez. <laughs> I'm just kidding! <laughs> you, know my, you know my spelling skills. That's, that's okay. okay, nobody got that one. <laughs> All right. Who is more creative? Definitely me. Hey man, you want one for everybody. Who is better at keeping surprises? Oh, oh definitely oh. you. Keeping surprises. Keeping surprises. Keeping I've now received a Christmas gift for Christmas. Maybe he gets his Christmas gift as soon as I get it. I can't do a good surprise. Can you? I don't know. Yeah. Who does the cooking? Uh, it's everybody. Yeah, it's everybody. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y'all killing it. Who is the better cook? You call this a landslide. I know, right? Who is more adventurous? The <laughs> Kinos. No, it's everybody. <laughs> Who's more likely to get injured? <laughs> <laughs>
control of the remote? The guys. The guys. Oh, I thought I was. The Adams. <laughs> Adams. Uh, you watch Castle. I don't Who will be most likely to wake up grumpy? Ladies. Who is more likely to get lost? Oh. <laughs> I'm lost right now. Who is more likely to ask for directions? It's everybody. Yeah. Who is messier? Oh. I'll take I think I am. Okay. But your card is. Adams. Yeah. So we didn't win. Yeah. Right now, who do you love more than anyone in the world? Myself. <laughs> yeah, myself. I love both of them. Plus two kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. who won? 19. 19. 19 over here. I'm sorry, guys. You just, you just won. 19. Yeah. 19. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Because on the love show, on Dana being Dana, the first show of 2018, everybody's a winner. Oh. Yay. Yay. to one of our sponsors tonight, My Chocolate Soul, which oh is my, um, my good friend Thank Ramona so and her friend Josh. They are, uh, Ramona is a chocolateer so at My Chocolate much. Soul, which is on 4442 North yeah. Broadway. Thank you. You have a $50 gift certificate. Sweet. Um, I can have that. Yes, and we've got some chocolate to pass around yeah. to taste some chocolate oh, from My Chocolate Soul. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we are going to talk to the ladies of the latest Bravo series to Rome for love. Yes. So our discussion about love and race continues on Dana Bean. Dana. We'll be right back. Thank you. Dana Bean Dana. Cheers. Yay. You can eat it. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm trying my best. Yeah. Are we on for the rest of it? Does it matter? Well, yeah. Pass me two of them. Just so right here, they see me. See, I'm pointing at what I see. You keep those. Somebody else take this glass. You know, I keep it right here. Oh, you won't. You won't give it here. I might save mine because I'll get real weird. You know, Lex, you're going to be Lex, you're going to run around. Yeah. I got really nice. Actually, let's switch seats. Let's switch seats. Come on. We got to move quickly. We got to move quickly. Yeah, we're going to switch. Oh, I think. I'm going to put you at the end. Nikki and Shay? Oh, right. Yeah, wait, we have no. Oh, it's time to show I want to be on the show now. Yeah. 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 Make sure your phones are off. Uh, with the volume. Oh, maybe in your phones there. Shay, Nikki, and continues about love and I have the privilege and honor of introducing my friends but before we get to them I know I'm keeping you all waiting I want to thank our sponsor one of our sponsors for tonight is Hidden Treasures Boutique this is my friend Bobby Bobby thank you so much for being here of course um, Hidden Treasures Boutique brings the latest styles and trends in women's fashion at affordable prices which affordable. is fantastic Bobby hooks me up she has been one of my stylists forever um, and my friend, and yes, just more important. getting me right, uh, and yes, and, and thank you so much for um, for being here. Hidden Treasures is a proud sponsor of Dana Me and Dana, and they are offering an exclusive deal. Would you like to share what it is? Yes, we are offering an exclusive deal to all of your listeners, all of your followers. Uh, you can go onto the website at shophiddenshreasuresboutique.com and use Dana25 to get 25% off. 25%, that's fantastic. So thank you so much, 